What's up guys, it's Norman Woods and today I want to talk about kickflip crooked grinds, my favorite flip to grind. Before I talk about it, let's talk about www.collageskateboards.com. We've got some offerings available there. One of them is my pro model. One of them is Sammy Baptista's guest pro model. We got signed ones of those and they're going fast. So check out the site and pick one up. Also consider joining us on Patreon. Let's get into the kickflip crook. It goes without saying that you should be able to kickflip first, and you should also be able to crooked grind. If you know how to kickflip nose slide, that might help, but I actually lost my kickflip nose slides when I learned kickflip crooks, so it's not necessary. I have videos on kickflips and videos on crooked grinds, so I'll link them in the description below. You're gonna start out on a curb, because you don't want to have to kickflip too high when you're first learning how to do a complex trick like this. You're also going to start off with a stall instead of trying to grind. So you're going to roll at a 45 degree angle to the curb. You're going to crouch as low as you can even though it's a curb. You're going to kickflip. You're going to point your front foot at the curb as you're waiting for it to spin. You're still going to catch it with the back foot and then you're going to allow your front foot to get onto the board just before you land in that crooked grind. And pointing your toes at the obstacle you're trying to kick with crook is so important. Once you land on your grind, you're going to crouch, you're going to stay on for a second or two, and then you're going to dismount. And you want to try to be able to hop out to regular and to turn your shoulders and come out to fakie before you move on to the next step, which is going a little bit faster, making sure your curb is waxed, repeating the steps that I went over before and trying to do a small grind. Now I learned to grind in the middle before I tried to come off at the end because it's a little scary to try to come off at the end and it feels like you're gonna roll your ankle. And if you add that extra fear when you're learning a trick, it just doesn't help. So I recommend trying this in the middle and coming out first. Now once you can come out in the middle to forward and you can come out to fakie, then you should step this up to a low ledge. And by low ledge, I mean about double the height of a curve, or a little bit higher if that's all you have. You're gonna repeat the same steps, right? You're gonna roll at a 45 degree angle to start. Make sure that the ledge is waxed. Make sure that it's not so chunky that when you land in your crooks, you can't go. Because sometimes there's a ledge that you can do a grind on, right? But when you try to flip into it, since there's so many chunks taken out of it, you keep landing in them and it doesn't allow you to go forward because you're gonna land with more force when you're flipping into grinds than you do when you're simply ollieing into them. So make sure you have a nice enough ledge that you can grind. Once you're able to pop out to forward and come out to fakie by turning your shoulders, then you should find a ledge that has an end and try to kick the crook at the end of that ledge. So to do this, you're gonna have to pop early enough that you can grind for a foot or more because that's how long it's gonna take you to react and give it the little nollie out that's required to come out of your crooked grind. And I go over that in my crooked grind video. Again, link in the description. Once you're doing both of these, once you're able to come out in the middle, once you're able to come out at the end of a ledge, now it's time to step it up and I recommend going to like a hubba or maybe a bench that you put down a little set of stairs. I learned to kickflip crook down at the old shorty skate park and Mikey Taylor taught me how to do this. Uh, he's the one who taught me the tip about pointing your front foot at the edge of the ledge after you do the kickflip. It really makes it easy because in the beginning it's a daunting task. It's like, how do I kickflip and aim at the ledge? Well, the answer is you're going to start pointing your foot at the obstacle. and. By the time you're trying to do this down a hubba, you're gonna wanna stop rolling at the 45 degree angle. So the steps in between you learning this on the ledge and you taking it to a hubba, it's gonna be you slowly tapering off of rolling at an angle and being able to roll parallel to the edge of what you're gonna skate. So once you're able to do that, you're trying it down a hubba. The only real difference is that you have the angle of the hubba that's assisting you with speed. So you're gonna roll a little bit slower. If you go too fast, you're gonna to grind too fast. And that's gonna make it hard for you to come out of the obstacle that you're grinding. So you're gonna slow it down just a little bit. 
you're going to aim for the middle of whatever you're kick flipping onto. And then once you're on the hubba or the little bench down, whatever you've put it down, you're going to make sure that you're crouched. And when you get to the end of the obstacle, instead of trying to push forward and give it a little nolly like you do when you're on a flat ledge, you're going to start to slightly lean your board back so that it's parallel with the ground. Once your board's parallel with the ground, you're going to let your wheels hit the ground and then you're going to bend your knees to absorb the impact, which is very important. Once you can do it on a hubba, you're going to take it to a rail. And doing this on rails is a completely different beast. Like rail skating is different, but you've got to remember that your weight has to land on top of the rail and be centered. So that's all I'm going to say about that one because it's a whole video of its own. And if you guys want me to make a video about kickflip crooks and specifically kickflipping onto rails, I can make that video just let me know in the description if it's going to help you guys out. So that's pretty much it for kickflip crooked grinds. Make sure that you're crouched, start out at a 45 degree angle, start out on a curb in the middle, and start out with a stall. The most important thing is that after you start your kickflip and the board's flipping, you point your toes at the ledge or curb or hubba or whatever you're kickflipping onto. And once you've caught it with your back foot, you allow your front foot to land on the board. And another thing is you want your front foot to be right in between the bolts and the nose of your board. So you don't want your front foot like on the tip of the nose. I find that it works better when I catch with my foot just in between that little space. So the edge of my foot is like halfway up the nose, not completely on the tip. It just works better for me, might be different for you. Um, you're gonna learn how to come off in the middle, first by giving it that little nolly out, then by turning your shoulders and coming out to fakie, then you're gonna progress to the edge of a ledge for which you have to pop a little farther back so that you have space to react and pop out of your grind. Then you're gonna take it to a hubba and by the time you get to a hubba, you shouldn't be rolling at a 45 degree angle anymore. You should be about parallel to the hubba. And then after you're able to do it down a hubba, you're gonna move on to a rail. That's all I've got for kickflip crooks. Like I said, let me know if you want me to do a specific video about doing these down rails and doing other flip to grind tricks down rails because it is a different beast. Thanks for watching. Enjoy skating. <laughs>